Hey guys, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another programming tutorial. Uh, in the next few tutorials, we're going to talk about how to program your own typing speed tester. So, uh, let's get started on the project and this project is going to span through a few tutorials. So make sure you don't delete the files after this tutorial. So click on new project and it's a Windows form application and we're going to call it Typing Speed Tester uh, actually just make the speed and the T in capitals press OK and uh, so what we need right now uh, the first thing we need is uh, a label and we're going to call this label we're going to call it seconds seconds label and basically this label is going to display how many seconds have gone past since the beginning of the typing test a uh, speed test so uh, and then we're gonna make uh, a button Uh, so drag a button onto the screen, onto the window, and we also want the timer object. So make sure you, this is, by the way, on the left hand side I have all window forms open underneath the toolbox. Um, so drag in the timer object. So timer, drag that in, and you'll see the timer object appear here. And so the button is going to say start timing so the button I'm just gonna call it start button so that's the name of the button and then uh, the text is gonna be start timer so you can see there's a start timer button there and right now what I want it to do when I click the button is to just display uh, how many seconds have gone past so it's gonna start counting one two three four uh, and the number of seconds is gonna display on label one so if you run the program now right now it doesn't do anything so we have to program this button to make it uh, make the label start counting okay so the timer object uh, right now the timer is turned off so what I want to do is when I click on the start timer button I'm gonna make the timer object which is called timer 1 I'm gonna start the timer okay and then what's gonna happen is when the timer is counting so double click on the timer 1 object when the timer is ticking, I'm gonna update the uh, I'm gonna update the seconds label. So the seconds label is gonna now display seconds label dot text is going to display uh, the number of seconds uh, that has uh, elapsed since I press the start button but here's the thing I need a variable I need a variable to keep to store that data so I'm gonna declare a variable underneath uh, public class form 1 so this variable the scope of this variable will span across the whole program so I'm just gonna type in dimension uh, I'm gonna call my variable uh, number of seconds dimension number of seconds as integer so in this variable so every time the timer ticks uh, I'm gonna add to the number of seconds number of seconds uh, plus equals one so what that means is I'm gonna add 
whatever number of seconds is I'm gonna add one to it so initially the number of seconds is gonna equal zero oops when I press the start button and then uh, every time the timer clicks ticks the uh, number of seconds is going to increase by one and then it's going to update the seconds label the seconds label is going to display so seconds label dot text is going to display the number of seconds uh, variable the contents of that so if we start debugging this program now let's see what this program does so if I press the start timer you can see that the label is quickly updating uh, but it's counting too fast so what's gone wrong is let's have a look at our form so double so click on your timer one object you'll see that the timer interval has a hundred now this measurement is measured in milliseconds so we're gonna make it uh, count the timer is gonna tick uh, once every a thousand milliseconds so change that number to a thousand and then if you run the program again uh, you'll see that the label is updating uh, once every second okay thanks for watching uh, Oops. Yeah, so if you click the button again, it's going to start the timer. Actually, uh, let's program the stop button as well. So let's program another button here. Let's program this to be uh, the stop button. And uh, the text stop timer. Okay, so let's program that. And as soon as that's clicked, uh, timer one will stop counting stop counting and uh, so let's play that so if you start and then once you're ready press stop so it's gonna stop at number six and then uh, if you press start again it's gonna go back to one and start counting okay uh, thanks for watching so actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have three buttons just like a proper timer so I'm gonna have a actually let's just stop running the program I'm gonna have three buttons I'm gonna have the time the start timer stop timer I'm gonna have the reset button so drag another button in uh, reset timer so reset button um, so the text is reset timer and then uh, so start actually let's put that let's put them horizontally start stop reset so when the reset button is clicked I'm simply going to make the number of seconds equal to zero and I'm gonna update the text and uh, when I click the start button I'm not gonna make the number of seconds zero okay that code is now gonna be part of the declaration at the beginning of the program where I'm gonna make the number of seconds zero okay so if I run that what happens is I'm gonna start a timer and it's gonna start counting from zero one two three four five if I stop it, stops moving, but I can, I should be able to start again and it'll start timing again. And then I'm going to stop it, click reset, then it goes back to zero. 
So this timer function is going to be part of our uh, typing speed test program. So don't delete this. Uh, come back uh, when you're ready to continue programming. See you next time.